New restaurants and shops are popping up in downtown Huntsville, which will bring in more people. That's why tonight the Huntsville City Council is discussing bringing an extended stay Hyatt Hotel to downtown. Good evening, I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Mike Black. Our Kelly Kennedy went to the meeting. Kelly, what would this new hotel mean for the growth of Huntsville? Connor, Mike, Huntsville continues to grow, and downtown is no exception. If passed, this new hotel, new hotel would be one of four coming to downtown in the near future. In 2017, a master plan was put in place by the city to improve downtown Huntsville. The plan pushes for more cycling space, two-way streets, more development, and connectivity with the Von Brown Center. Not only are these hotels welcome, they're very needed, and downtown is such a great place for them to be because that's easier for visitors, um, especially if they are flying in and they don't have a car. The city has a goal of 1,000 bookable rooms in walking distance of the VBC. As that permits us to bring conventions here, and we want to move up to a tier where we can start bringing some of these larger conventions here. When those conventions come, it's liquor lodging tax, it's sales tax. In other words, we have people from other places coming here spending money so that to fund what we can enjoy. Hopefully, the, all these hotels that are coming in will be the next step to getting a larger convention hotel downtown to be able to see secure more committable rooms for our incoming convention groups. That's the plan for the new hotel, bring more rooms to downtown. The Hyatt House is planned to be built on the parking lot located at Holmes Avenue and Jefferson Street. The area is also being looked at for more improvements in the downtown master plan. And as more of these developments come, so do businesses. Piper and Leaf, Moe's Barbecue, and The Melt have all recently opened locations downtown. According to the agreement, the Hyatt House will have 145 rooms, a restaurant, and a rooftop bar. As of right now, they haven't voted on the agreement. Putting the Valley First, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.